In this video presentation, we'll be looking at data encapsulation. One of the exam objectives for the CCNA exam is that you know and understand data encapsulation very well. You'll also need to know and understand de-encapsulation, which is just the reverse process that the data takes as it travels back up the layers of the OSI model. Encapsulation is the process that data goes through as it is transmitted from one device to another. The data gets wrapped with protocol information at each layer of the OSI model. Each layer only communicates with its peer layer at the receiving device. Each layer uses what are known as PDUs or protocol data units to communicate with the other layers. These contain and hold the control information attached to the data at each layer of the OSI model. As each PDU travels down the model, it encapsulates the next layer with its data. In this presentation, we're going to see what happens with general communication between two computers. We now know that each layer only corresponds with its peer layer in the receiving device via the virtual con conversations. Here the capsulation process actually begins. Application generates data which is passed down to the transport layer in the form of a protocol data unit or a PDU. The transport layer now combines its data with the application data to form the transport protocol data unit or the TPDU. The network access layer adds more data to the TPDU creating the network PDU which is sent down to the physical layer to be transmitted over the medium. And as the data is received at the other end the de-encapsulation process begins. The physical layer sends the NPDU up to the network access layer where the network access data is removed and processed. What is now the TPDU is sent to the transport layer where the transport la layer data is removed and processed. The original application data is passed up to the application layer where it is now processed. Now the five steps of data encapsulation that you're going to have to know front and back are as follows. Data is converted into segments. Segments are then converted into packets. Packets are then converted into frames. Frames are then converted into bits. The bits then travel down to the physical medium over to the receiving device where the de-encapsulation process begins. Now you may see this on the CCNA exam in a question format or a drag and drop format, but either way, you're going to need to know and understand the concept very thoroughly.